Silent Night was directed by John Woo, who brought you Face Off, a movie I've seen many times throughout my life. It's so freaking fun. It stars a very game and very jacked Joel Kinnaman, and it's a revenge tale here. See, on Christmas Eve, a man witnesses the death of his young son when the young boy gets caught in the crossfire between warring gangs. Those are some pretty tragic given circumstances there. Recovering from a wound that costs him his voice, he soon embarks on a bloody and grueling quest to punish those responsible. So Joel Kinnaman's character pretty much lost his entire voice, which means that he can't talk throughout this movie. That's right, our main character has zero dialogue. And as a matter of fact, every single character in this movie has zero dialogue. Now that's a very risky move for an action movie to take. But seeing as how this is a revenge story, it's one that you definitely have seen before throughout your life. And here's what I'll say in regards to positives. The action sequences in this movie are very fun to watch. John Woo certainly understands how to helm this sort of filmmaking. And there's definitely a lot of brutality in this movie and a lot of creativity going into the fight choreo, but I don't know what it is. The previews were kind of telling me that the movie was going to be a lot more brutal than it actually was. And again, it's not to say that the action is bad whatsoever. For a movie that is so gung-ho about being rated R, and for how bloody the trailers were making it look, I think the bloodiest scenes that you get are already shown to you in the trailer. So there's not a whole lot of surprises left. And Joel Kinnaman definitely understands the job that he signed up to do, and he performs the task very well. The dude's a badass throughout this movie, he's great in the fight scenes. Dude is jacked out the gills also, he looks very intimidating. And I definitely feel like he is trying his damnedest to get as much across with this character as possible, just with facial acting and with no dialogue. And I think what he's able to do with his stipulations that he's been given... I think it's definitely very solid. But this whole entire movie seems very shackled by this stipulation. And I feel like this story, even though it is a very derivative story of a lot of action movies, the whole idea that nobody utters a single word of dialogue in this, it kind of makes the movie a little dumb. Because you can tell that there's certain characters, like his wife, for example, they really want to console this man and they really want to be there for him. But because the script is dictating, oh, there's no dialogue, it just kind of makes all the side characters look really stupid. And with all that in mind, I feel like the movie is more centered around being a gimmick than an actual story. Now, I reviewed a movie a couple of months ago called No One Will Save You, and it's out on Hulu. I highly recommend you guys check it out. And that movie uses a very similar technique of minimal to zero dialogue to tell a very thrilling story. And I think the whole idea of not having your actors talk works so much better if it's a science fiction thriller or if it's a horror movie, for that matter. Silent Night is a revenge-driven action flick. And even though the action sequences are cool, this movie definitely could have been a lot more. But the thing is, it can't have been a lot more because they weren't allowed to talk. Now, in regards to our main character, Joel Kinnaman, not being able to talk, that's very well explained, and that is totally fine. The title Silent Night is actually very apropos to describe our main character. But then when you look across the board and nobody in the movie can talk, it's like, what sense does it make? In the grand scheme of things, what sense does this make? Other than just being a marketing ploy to try and stand out as being unique. When at its core, the story really has nothing unique about it. So yeah, I think if you're a hardcore action movie junkie, you're certainly going to find some enjoyable sequences in this flick. It's a very easy watch at an hour 45, but I think with a lot more groundbreaking competition surrounding this movie, like your John Wick Chapter 4s, like your Extractions, this one I feel like is too overly reliant on a gimmicky stipulation to make itself stand out. I'm going to give Silent Night a C. It's great to see John Woo back directing an action movie, but go watch some of his older stuff. I definitely recommend watching Face Off if you haven't yet. Let me know what you thought of Silent Night down in the comments section, and let me know what your favorite action movie of the year has been thus far. I always love making these videos coming on here and discussing all things movies with you guys. Getting to interact with you guys makes things all the more fun. So please do consider subscribing and tap on that thumbs up on your way out. That would be a humongous help. And December has come upon us, ladies and gentlemen, and it is probably one of the most 
stacked and exciting Decembers I can remember. Loads of great new releases coming out and I cannot wait to share my thoughts on every single one as we close out a great year for movies. Stay tuned for all that and much more guys. Y'all are the best. And with all that being said, Back Talk, commence. Yeah.